On a girl's trip to a remote house in the desert, three friends witnessed strange occurrences upon the arrival of a creature during a once-in-a-lifetime meteor shower. One sunny day, childhood friends Deidre, Charlotte, and Heather arrive at the latter's father's rest house in the middle of the desert. Deidre asks her friends what time to expect the once-in-a-lifetime meteor shower later tonight, and Heather says it'll start at 10 p.m. Immediately, the social media savvy woman notes how the property is going to be the perfect backdrop for her photos, anticipating 100,000 likes on a future post. Minutes later, she starts a live stream for her followers, where she introduces the spirituality-obsessed Heather and the meek, social media-averse Charlotte. Later, the friends lounge by the pool, where the brunette shares how much she needed to get a few days off from her job in the pet store to be with her pals. Meanwhile, the influencer swipes on her dating app to see if she can find a man to keep her company this weekend but realizes there aren't too many choices in their location. That evening, while the other two are looking up at the sky in awe of the meteor shower, Deidre is busy complaining about the lack of signal and her inability to livestream the event. Moments later, the friends enjoy drinks by the pool and recall their memories from when they were kids. Heather and Charlotte jokingly remind Deidre of how mean she was when they were children. Suddenly, a mysterious object falls into the pool, startling the women. Then, they notice that it's leaking a dark liquid into the water, so the panicked Heather tells them to get the strange mass out of the pool. They wonder if it's a meteor, and note the unpleasant smell emanating from the irregularly shaped object. Deidre theorizes it could be frozen sewage dropped by an airplane, adding that there are stories of people who perished from similar occurrences in the past. Charlotte disagrees when she sees a face underneath the black shell. She thinks it might be an animal, suggesting a balled-up armadillo. The influencer tries to take pictures of the object, but laments the lack of signal is preventing her from capitalizing on the view she could have gotten. Later, the brunette searches through an encyclopedia for a picture of an armadillo, and when she finds one, realizes that the creature looks nothing like it. After Deidre tells her to take a shot of alcohol to calm her nerves, Heather says she wants to get rid of the object as soon as possible. When she checks her phone, she sees the screen malfunctioning. Charlotte suggests they could bury it under a tree, but the worried woman in says they need to get rid of it. Eventually, the influencer leads Heather to the bedroom to get some sleep, and warns the brunette to stay away from the mysterious creature in case it's carrying any diseases. Before heading to bed, the curious woman takes one last look at the object by the pool. The next morning, Heather apologizes for her behavior last night, and Charlotte says she understands her worry since it's her father's house. At breakfast, the influencer's phone stops working, so she and Heather tell their friend to get her phone from the bedroom to see if it works. At first, the woman's older model phone seems to be working, but quickly malfunctions just like her friends did. She theorizes that the meteor shower last night caused something similar to a magnetic storm, shutting off all the radio signals in a certain area. Annoyed, Deidre is convinced her followers are going to worry about why she hasn't posted since yesterday. When her friends state that having no internet access for 24 hours isn't a big deal, she says the amount of time is equivalent to a lifetime for influencers like her, especially since she has sponsored posts she needs to upload in order to make a living. Then, the brunette nonchalantly reminds her friends about the object from last night. When they go to check, they find that the creature is missing, leaving only a trail of black liquid as if it crawled away. Before they follow the trail, Deidre takes a Native American war club from inside the house for protection. Finally, they find it sprawled out in the yard, and Charlotte asks why it no longer has a shell, and Heather notes how the unpleasant smell has gotten stronger. Before the influencer can nudge it with a club, Brett, the hired groundskeeper, startles the women when he introduces himself. Moments later, Deidre goads Heather into asking the team to help them get rid of the creature. However, Brett says he's only there to tend to the plants, and that they should call someone else to take care of it. The woman explains that their phones don't work, but promises to pay him for the task. While negotiating his payment, the women say they'll give him $150 and a download link to the photos they'll be taking later. Skeptical that they're actual models, the teen walks away, prompting them to ask him what else he'd like as compensation. So the teen turns back around and says there's one thing they can help him with. 
Later, a reluctant Charlotte agrees to kissing the teen in exchange for him getting rid of the creature. After the kiss, Brett heads to the yard to complete his end of the bargain. While he's gone, the women pool the cash they have to cover the $150, with Heather having to pay for the brunette's share. Meanwhile, the teen uses a shovel to tip the creature onto a tarp, visibly straining while moving its unusually heavy body. Then he gives the animal a swift kick to the side, but the creature lets out an otherworldly screech, spooking the teen who runs out of the property. The women watch as Brett sprints away, then hear the animal's cries. In the yard, they find it moving and writhing as if in pain, and Deidre suggests putting it out of its misery. However, the sympathetic Charlotte argues that they can't act impulsively, since they aren't even sure if it's actually dying. Because they can't decide on what to do, they finally agree to dragging the creature to a shaded area and leaving it a bowl of water. Even though the three of them are working together to move the animal, it still takes all their strength to drag it several feet. As the women walk back into the house, the mysterious creature sits upright and stares at them. Minutes later, the friends finally have their photo shoot for Deidre's makeup brand. While Charlotte dips her feet in the pool, she watches her two friends giggling and drinking margaritas on the lounge chairs. That night, the brunette is stirred awake by the creature's loud cries from outside. She heads out to check on it and sees the animal wailing endlessly. Concerned, she wakes Heather to inform her of what's happening but her annoyed friend just tells her to go back to sleep. Feeling sorry for the creature, Charlotte takes it inside the house, noting how much lighter it is. Then she takes Deidre's protein shake from the fridge and feeds it to the animal. The next morning, the influencer opens the fridge for her drink, but hears cries from the living room. There she finds the creature wrapped up in a towel, with her empty protein shake bottle next to it. Furious, she wakes her friends up to admonish them about why the animal is inside the house. In the living room, Heather orders the brunette to take it out of the house. But when the woman tries to move it, the creature lets out a piercing shriek and digs its claws into the rug. Annoyed, Deidre demands that Charlotte figure out a way to get to town, find an animal wrangler, and get their phones fixed. She says that she's going back to bed and expects the creature gone when she wakes up. So Heather suggests she and Charlotte take her father's buggy over to Edna, their closest neighbor, to see if they can hitch a ride to town. While the two friends are away, the influencer is unable to get any sleep due to the creature's incessant crying. So she gets out of bed to prepare a poisoned drink to feed to the animal. However, as she approaches it, she's hypnotized by its milky white eyes, causing her to drop the glass which shatters on the floor. At Edna's house, no one answers Heather's knock but they realize the door isn't locked. They head inside where they see telescopes and multiple radios lining the walls. Heather checks the landline, but informs Charlotte that it's down too. The woman decides to leave Edna a note for when she returns. The brunette spots the neighbor's journal and wonders why the day of the meteor shower was highlighted, but her friend thinks it could have just been Edna's birthday. When they return to the house, they inform the influencer about what happened at Edna's, but their friend's nonchalant reaction is the complete opposite of how she was that morning. Seconds later inside the house, Charlotte appeases an overwhelmed Heather by offering to cook lunch and clean the house, still guilty for bringing the creature into the living room. Meanwhile, Deidre lays on a floaty on the pool with a creepy blank look on her face. During lunch, the influencer gulfs down her pasta, earning confused looks from her friends. After finishing her plate, she asks if either of them would like to join her while she works out, but Heather says it's too sunny to be doing any strenuous activities. Later, the two women Women watch their pal tirelessly working out in the yard, and Heather is concerned she might be having a mental breakdown. When her friend complains about the creature's worsening smell, the brunette offers to give it a bath. As the sun sets, Deidre continues exercising in the yard. That night, Heather wakes up when she hears a pulsating noise coming from the living room, so she slowly makes her way there to investigate. To her horror, she sees the influencer writhing inside a red fleshy mass that's connected to the creature. As she's about to scream, the animal hypnotizes her, and the woman proceeds to remove her clothes to join her friend inside the fleshy mass. While hypnotized, the woman envisions a cosmic expanse, and a 
vessel seemingly traveling through space. Then she sees her friend undulating with an indiscernible figure. Seconds later, she takes Deidre's hand, and their bodies are wrapped in red tendrils. The next morning, Charlotte checks her phone and sees that it still doesn't work. When she checks the living room, she finds that the animal is no longer there. So she asks her friends who are lounging by the pool, who tell her that they transferred the creature into Deidre's room. Confused about her friend's sudden change of heart regarding the animal, she heads back inside. The woman opens the bedroom door and sees the creature propped up by the pillows. Seconds later, she returns to the pool and asks her friends why they aren't in any hurry to get back into town, especially since they all have to return to work tomorrow. When neither seems willing to help her figure out a way back, she says she'll take the buggy to Edna's house to check if the keys are in the pickup truck. Outside the cabin, she checks the truck, but the keys aren't there. Charlotte knocks on the door and lets herself in when no one answers. Then, the woman searches the shelves and drawers for the keys. Seconds later, she checks the papers on Edna's table, and in a stack covered in formulas and coordinates, she sees a drawing of the creature. Suddenly, she spots sunlight streaming into the cabin through a small hole in the wall. So she heads back out and walks to the side of the house, where she finds the older woman's lifeless body, who seemingly perished from a self inflicted gunshot wound. Meanwhile, in the rest house, Deidre steps into the pool and begins screaming, while Heather is in the kitchen eating raw eggs. When Charlotte returns to the house, she tells the others that Edna ended her own life and that she saw an illustration of the creature in the older woman's notes. However, she is confused by her friend's deadpan reactions to the news of Edna's demise. They tell her that they've decided to wait until the phone signals return to try and call for help. So the brunette heads to the bedroom to confront the creature about what it is. Suddenly, it hypnotizes the woman the same way it did the others, and the red fleshy mass and tendrils slither out of its abdomen toward her. Just as the stringy appendages reach her body, Charlotte is able to break through the hypnosis and escape the bedroom. The woman returns to the pool to tell the others that they need to call the police. She believes the creature is an alien, but instead of alarm and panic, the first thing Deidre suggests is contacting a lawyer so they can profit off their discovery. Heather agrees and says they can split any shares and dividends amongst themselves. However, Charlotte believes the creature is dangerous, and Edna was aware of it, hence why she chose to end her life. Furious, the influencer berates the meek woman for predictably messing their plans up despite the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Suddenly, Heather interrupts the argument to point out that Deidre's belly is swelling at a rapid rate. Horrified, the woman fearfully touches the bump, but notices that Heather's stomach is growing as well. Frightened and confused, the influencer blames Charlotte for everything, since she was the one that brought the creature into the house. Seconds later, black liquid begins spilling from the two women's eyes and mouths. As they writhe in pain on the ground, they beg their friend for help. Convinced the only way to save the women is to kill the creature, Charlotte heads to the bedroom to finish it off. Suddenly, her friends, who are now under the alien's control, join them in the bedroom, and Deidre slams her head on the wall to knock her out. Minutes later, the woman regains consciousness, and she asks the creature why it's done what it's done. So it shows her their kind's plan of impregnating human females with their offspring so they can take over the planet. Determined to stop the invasion, Charlotte takes the war club and bashes the creature into a pulp. Then she takes the buggy to track down the other women. Eventually, she spots Heather stumbling down the dirt road. So she speeds up and runs her friend over. To end the woman's misery, the brunette mercifully bashes her head until she perishes. She returns to the buggy but realizes it's run out of gas. So she takes the club and continues her pursuit of Deidre on foot. Finally, she catches up to her friend who turns around and attacks her. Seconds later, a man in a pickup truck spots the scuffle from afar. Charlotte manages to knock her friend down to the ground with a club. However, when she gets back on her feet to deliver the final blow, the man shoots her, convinced she was about to end an innocent woman's life. Then, the man carries Deidre back to the truck to take her to the hospital. Minutes later, Charlotte regains consciousness and realizes she was shot on the shoulder 
shoulder. She sees the truck in the distance, gets back up on her feet, and takes the club with her. Slowly, the woman approaches the vehicle and spots the lifeless man's body by the open door. Inside, she finds the man's rifle and takes it. Then, she walks behind the vehicle where she sees Deidre, whose body has half transformed into a grotesque mass and her abdomen stirring with the alien's offspring. Charlotte steadies the rifle, apologizes to her friend, and pulls the trigger to end her suffering. Seconds later, the woman, who prematurely thought her nightmare was over, sees hundreds of meteor-like objects headed to Earth. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.